see me rolling. I've got it. She's on it. <laughs> Get out. Okay. That one's right here, is there? Yeah. Can we do that after? I can't do it now. Do you want to do too much first? I'll do it. I'm just looking. Do you think it's like when you get there? Back to the front, but there wasn't a way to do So we just arrived, we'll probably go up, see what food there is, and then we'll meet some characters that we'll go down to meet as well. And then I think it's better today, and then this will add parts, and then might go back to the hotel and see what's around there afterwards. So at the Tarot Breakfast, it was a buffet breakfast. So here there's just cereals, yogurts, and fruit and things, and then this uh, Tate bread, Mickey Rice shake thing here was delicious. I, I had that. And just like cinnamon rolls, croissants, parachocolat. This was the hot food. They had a good selection. I just had some of the potatoes and some of the uh, plant based sausages. They were really good. And I was so excited to try a Mickey waffle. It definitely didn't disappoint. And then there was just some maple syrup and some, I think it was honey as well, just to put on the waffles or that. You could boil your own egg, you could make your own pancakes as well. I didn't try that, but maybe if there was another time, I would, I would definitely try that. And then they just had like juices, orange juice, uh, apple juice. And at the end here, they just had some like hams and cheeses eh, and some sauces as well and this was all at one side and then at the other side eh, they had the same stuff so yeah there was a good selection this is just some of the stuff that we got <laughs> Thank you. Hello. 
stick out a bit clear. Got it? Yeah.
as Mickey's Halloween celebration continues. Just because I 
hired a medical bed for staying here, so they had to take all the normal beds out of my room. So before I show you my room, this is the adjoining room that one of my tailors is sleeping in. So it's got a sofa bed there and a pull-out bed and then a double bed there as well. And as you can see, there's plenty of room underneath for storage or even to get a hoist under. So technically, people with disabilities, two people can sleep in like this room and the other room because there's plenty of room under the bed. My hoist is just here just to make it more extra room in my room. But as you can probably tell, the hoist was able to come through the adjoining room. So yeah, people with disabilities can share the adjoining rooms and share a hoist at the same time. So this is how my room would have been set up if I didn't have the medical bed. So this is my room. It's, I hired a medical bed so that was able to be just placed in the middle of the room. And I've got my machines down there and some other machines over there. There's a Woody and Jesse and Bullseye uh, design on the top of the wall. I'll uh, show you a closer look to that here. And then there's Toy Story themed curtains. And the lights as well have Woody on them, which I will place a closer look to that here. And then this is the side table. It's got a woody boot as the light. Quite a decent sized TV there and lots of storage. That is one thing that I love about this room. So much storage for all my medical stuff. And actually when I show you my machines there, there is so many plug sockets as well. That's why I chose this uh, hotel because it was just amazing for how many plug sockets there are. There's a little desk here which is good. Got plug sockets again. And I've just got my laptop here so I'm going to be putting footage on it every day after the part. And I've got the wardrobe here and I'll go a bit closer as you can see there plenty, is plenty of storage for my suitcase and other bags. Uh, the door here, uh, I'll lower down people for a wheelchair user, pretty decent sized door to sit through and then I will take you into the bathroom. There's also hoots on the adjoining door which is good for handing up your jacket. So this is the bathroom and then a bit of a Toy Story theme with the horseshoe shower curtain. The sink is uh, a decent size. The, the mirror is a bit high for me to see in but there's plenty of space for someone in a wheelchair to get under the sink. I can't personally reach that myself, but it's good for other people. Then the toilet's there. And I also hired a shower chair slash toilet seat. So that's what's in the shower, but it kind of shows you the size of the shower. It's a, it's a decent shower. There's also toilet trays that are Toy Story themed. And there's towels there also. So yeah, it's pretty decent. I'll just go down and show you the the floor space. So I wouldn't really dip my chair in here to transfer with the hoist and the tailor, but that's all done in the bedroom and then my chair can fit in here easily by itself. We've got a vending machine in there as well. In the laundry. Yeah. That's the bar, is it? Saloon. saloon. Yeah, saloon bar. It's not fun, is it? Fun. And the sign. It's not a table. There's a ramp there, though. See the ramp at the side? The white door? Uh, yeah. I mean, that might be the accessible entrance. I mean, there's a seat in there. I mean, I think this is the closest I'll get to a pumpkin patch. The left hand on that is a little further. 
Yeah, imagine if I go back to Monster Pumpkins. Wouldn't that be funny? So I showed you earlier us coming through the back entrance which wasn't accessible to the general store in Starbucks but this is the accessible entrance at the front of the hotel reception. Oh no, that is a shop, a separate shop. Yeah, that's the one that we saw from the other side. Okay. But I could have it in that way. Yeah. Talk to you after. You want me to double ask me to double pass? Yeah. So that's us in the hotel room again uh, after a little tour around the hotel and uh, we're just going to get ready for bed and rest for another day of the parks tomorrow. So I'll see you then.